Hey, what's up guys? TBL here, and today we're going to be bringing you something a little bit different. We are going to be reading through a few of the IMDb reviews of the highly rated Law & Order SVU episode, Intimidation Game. So, without further ado, please sit back and enjoy. Ice-T from Ice-T at RedChan.it calls it a fascinating look into the reality of gamers on the darknet. The writers clearly went to great lengths in their research of the controversies surrounding women in video games, pulling from real-life events straight from the headlines as the show promises. The realistic portrayal of the kind of shocking content that is posted on the darknet by gamers will no doubt be surprising and eye-opening to viewers who are not familiar with video game culture. The main victim of the episode, Reina Punjabi, is a capable female video game developer who finds herself on the receiving end of threats posted through the darknet. The damsel in distress trope is executed perfectly throughout, as the viewers are drawn to listen and believe her harrowing story of escalating harassment at the hands of misogynistic male gamers. Overall, the episode is a great example of what a show like Law & Order can offer when backed up by rigorous research into real-world events. The writers have done themselves proud here. I came away hoping that I never end up on the receiving end of threats on the darknet. Truly some scary stuff. Felix Von Kessel calls the episode a stunning recreation of gamer culture and views on women in gaming. This episode depicts the evil rot in our modern society that is gaming in an amazingly accurate portrayal. This episode combines the finest points of alarmist what-if scenarios and blind tabloid speculation, seasons the pot with a healthy portion of complete ignorance of technology and culture, and finishes the delightful evening special with the ultimate message that acting on violent threats is a surefire way to get what one wants. Watching this episode is highly recommended for anybody who wants to be informed on the latest gaming memes, such as hacking lights and being a gun nut by owning two handguns and the shotgun equivalent of a tricycle. The exquisite reflection of reality that this episode shows is rivaled only by NCIS's portrayal of two exceptional individuals hammering on two ends of a keyboard in order to counter a hacking attempt. Truly a glowing review. Next up, we have Jonathan McIntosh, who makes the glowing statement that this is simply the best Law & Order SVU episode of the decade. This reader states that as a hardcore gamer and lifelong hater of women, this episode made me level up in my pants. Repeatedly. After being bullied by girls in kindergarten, elementary school, high school, college, and especially at band camp, I still can't see a tuba without clenching my buttocks and shrieking. I felt a great deal of catharsis from watching the women in Intimidation Game getting put in their place. While I may be unable to stop the neighborhood Girl Scouts from taking my latte money every day, this episode has finally given me respite from the hurt. Thank you, Law & Order SVU. You've turned my clouds into sunshine. Truly a heartfelt and sentimental review that I personally feel speaks greatly towards the immeasurable feelings of gratitude that we as gamers hold towards Law & Order SVU for their wonderful portrayal of our culture and hobby as a whole. <sighs> Forward slash S. Seriously, I normally don't make videos based on social commentary, but that Law & Order episode was bad. Like, hilariously bad. But, in order to make up for having you guys watch all that, here's a quick clip of a triple kill in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Friendly counter you. 